Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be discussing something which I feel it is even more dangerous than COVID, and I'm talking about mental health. Yesterday, 10th of October, was celebrated as Mental Health Awareness Day, and today in this video, I'll be discussing more over relation of COVID-19 and mental health. It's been seven months. We have been into this situation, and I still find that people they are struggling with this mental health because uh, sometimes there is no more clarity about it, or sometimes there is an havoc which has been created, and due to that, the mental health is getting affected. So, um, first, I'll be sharing some data from World Health Organization. So, basically, in COVID, two major groups they are at high risk and. We know that it's about 60 years of age, and the ones who have majorly any of the underlying disease condition, right? With all the WHO data available, 80% of cases are very mild cases which are asymptomatic. 15% are severe cases where they are requiring oxygen, and 5% are the critical cases. So if we now see that 80% are mild asymptomatic cases, then why is recovery taking a lot of time? And when I had researched more, I found out that. The major link was with the mental health. I understand that it is normal to be fearful and feel anxious during the situation, but how we deal with it is more important. If you're feeling anxious, try and talk with someone who might understand you. Try and talk to counselors that are being available, or to your family doctor. When I'm dealing with clients who are suffering from COVID-19, one major problem that we are facing first getting stability over their mental health and then curing them. Even if you are having mild symptoms and you are somewhere getting affected uh, onto your mental health, wherein you are thinking more, or some external environmental conditions is making you think more, and in that situation, the process towards the recovery slows down. We as people also need to understand that people who are diagnosed with COVID-19 they require compassionate. No one over here wants to put their life at risk. In the situation, the person is diagnosed, and at that time, we don't have to go and blame that person that because of this reason you have been diagnosed with COVID-19, and you are the reason who is spreading everything. We as people, we need to talk to them, and we need to say that we are with you in this situation, and things will get better really soon. Also, social media uh, being a boon. It's also being harmful because there is a lot of misinformation still till date. There is a lot of misinformation regarding COVID nineteen, which is being forwarded, and people are being misguided. And honestly, the situation keeps on getting worse. So we need to stay away from these misinformation. Even if you're getting some information, you need to cross verify. Also on social media, a lot of stories are being posted and forwarded on how a person had been. um in contact with some of the covid-19 person and maybe that person was unsymptomatic and due to that person you know not because of not taking proper precautions that person is now being diagnosed and xyz it is really important to spread this message that of course how the person was not taking precautions and the person is now being diagnosed but you need to understand there is always a proper time to do it the person is being diagnosed today and today itself you put that story then that is wrong because the person who has been diagnosed is already under something and when you are putting the story the person might treat and what if the oxygen level of that person goes down or what if something xyz again occurs right instead you can post it in order to spread awareness maybe after 10 or 15 days because that period is gone and at that moment you should not and you should understand the mindset of the person who has been diagnosed with covid-19 still i read a lot of articles where our frontline workers are facing challenges even today people are running away and people are creating situations which are difficult to control for our frontline workers and we as citizens we need to support them and how could we do that a simple step could be that not forwarding any message or not passing information before the officials declare it even if you know that information okay so we need to keep in mind that before an official declares because you might think that okay i'm just forwarding this information to this one particular person but you never know that that person might forward to someone else and that chain continues right so it is very important that you do not even if you have that information you do not declare it we really don't know for how many months this is going to last and i thought that maybe even after 7 months if i am able to 
pass on the message it will be great and that is the major reason why i'm putting this video towards the end i'm providing you with five tips that you could follow to help you in order to cope up with this current situation so the first one is eat right and exercise daily second one is stay positive third one is stay away from criticism even if you feel that some person has put out something which is affecting you stay away from that stay away from social media platform if you think that that is affecting you and that is affecting your mental health have simple conversations have conversation with counselors have conversation with doctors who are ready to guide you also out and i think that will be the best way to sort things out and not affect you more further and even if you diagnose there are people who are, who could be available with you through calls through video calls and the last one that i'll say is don't assume things clarify things because still there are rumors that are being spread there are wrong messages that are still being forwarded and that's the major reason i'll say that do not assume things So while concluding I'd like to speak something which I have picked up from the WHO PDF on COVID-19 and mental health despite the challenges we are facing now due to COVID-19 we can still find the purpose in our lives and be supportive towards each other when faced with a difficult situation focus on what we can change accept matters that are beyond control and always strive to live by your values I hope this video was informative let us all stay strong let us spread this awareness and help people out in any of the way we can thank you guys do like share and subscribe to my channel